Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will be explaining to you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to create a table using AutoCAD. Now, a table is used for various tasks in an AutoCAD drawing, and let me show you an example. In this drawing, which I have made for a client just recently, I have used the table that I have created there just with the minor edits and changes. So, this is my construction legend. This is the flow finish and the others as they have been set up here. So as you can see, a table is very much important in AutoCAD in an architectural drawing. And in, follow, in the follow of future videos, I will show you how to create this entire layout and a full set of architectural drawings for local council approval. Now, if you're not from Fiji, you can also use this format for basic knowledge and you can also create your own. Let's begin. Firstly, what we can do is go back to our tab or you can just make a drawing click on format click on the table style then create a new and change the name to architectural table architectural table and click on continue once you have done this we'll start from general first put everything to buy layers you don't actually have to fill the colors there so you can leave it to none all the text to be middle center or in this case i'll put middle left the format of this to be text and you can select your uppercase lowercase first capital or anything that you like in this case i'll leave it to uppercase and click on ok the type to be data and we can leave it at that don't have to change this don't have to change this you do not have to merge the cells or the rows or columns now we, do, we will click on the text tab and we will select our text style that we have created for the architectural table in this case we will click on table text like so and you, you can see it has set up everything here by itself change the text color to by layer then click on borders select this option all borders and that is all you need to do then from there you can change everything to by layer and click on ok then you can select this uh, new one that you have created and click on set current and close now what we will do is we will insert the text the table so you click on this table tab over here it's right under the multi reader or the dimension style over here what we will do is we'll put two columns and we will put two rows and we will enter the dimensions accordingly now these are not important because we will set them up into the display as we go ahead so once you have done enter these values click on ok and as you can see as you can see it has given you a table now it looks very much funny because it's not uh, set up correctly so to set it up correctly what you can do is simply click on the inside hold the mouse button down and drag it up in a diagonal manner and click OK. Once you have done that, you can just delete the rows and now you're left with two. So the setup begins here. This cell to be 4000 millimeters in wide. So we'll put it to 4000. 4000. And this cell height to be 1150 or 1100 and 50 click on enter and now that you can now that you have see now that you can see it has been set up now we'll do the similar for this one the cell height should be set to the cell width to be set to one uh, eight thousand and the cell height to be at 1150 and click on ok so now that you can see that we have created our two tabs and as you can see the text is very small and this is uh, showing up like so so we can fix that very simply just select on this simply click at the bottom hold your mouse down and drag it up in a diagonal manner and then what we can do is simply look for the text height like over here and then we can enter the text of 250 mm now the text height for the header 
So this part has to be 2.5 millimeters. So since I'm setting up my table at a 1 is to 100 scale, the text height that multiplied by scale will give you 250 millimeters. Once you have done that, click on OK. Now, when you double click on any of the columns, it will not actually give you a huge text call out. It's now giving you a small one. So if you wish to change this spacing, what you can do is type space bar two times and you can enter your title. So we'll just say a construction legend. We can call this a construction legend. Construction legend. Oh, you don't have to because what we will need to do now this cell is completely set up and what you can do is create a copy by simply selecting one of the cells inside remember if you click outside it won't work and if you click on the lines it will become like this so you can edit it you can pull it down or you can pull it outwards so if you click on the inside of a cell and then you click on insert below it will insert the similar tab that you have created on top right on the bottom so what you can do is simply select by select these two cells and match them together so select those two cells and click on this drop down arrow and then click on merge all and there you go that's your header now this will actually show what you have to place here so since this is a construction legend let me complete this And you can also underline it so you can just select it all and then type control plus u simultaneously and as you can see it has been underlined neatly now here what you can do is you can enter your distance or you can enter your values and over here you can enter your notes so we can say a num number one will refer to a 150 mm thick concrete wall with plaster rendered neatly from both sides and painted as per architect's instruction. And click on OK. I mean, click outside. So it, you don't have to make your notes this low. And uh, what you can do is, since this is 2.5, you can simply select on these two, as I've told you earlier, and then click on the properties, click on the text height, and change this to 200. The text height will now be 200. And click on OK. As you can see, it has become very neat. Now to indent it from there, just click on space one or two times. I'll just do it two times for this case. Or you can just simply click on this drop down arrow and select middle center. If not, you can select any other option that you wish to. And then if it's Pyramiding like so, you can also change the staggering of it and set it to a way that you like. So for this case, we will leave it to middle left, like so. Similarly, we can change the justification of this to middle center. And there you go. That is how you create and set up your table. Now, remember, this, this uh, table is actually like Excel. So if you wish to relay information which is over here into this one, what you can simply do is just select this and then click on insert below, which will insert below your selected point, or you can click on insert above, which will insert above your selected text. So that was a very simple way to set it up. Now, if you wish to bring the text that you have on top to the bottom to this cell, simply what you can do is click on this cell, click on this hot grip and just bring it down here. And as you can see, it has made an exact copy of what was on top. Similarly, what you can do is click on this hot grip and bring it down here and you can change your value.
Now by clicking on this hot grip, you are simply clicking on this hot grip and bring it, bringing it down. You are simply bringing all the properties that are on top to the bottom of the table. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and create whichever one, whichever title that you wish. So this is a legal description. A legal description shows the owner, the locality of the site, the lot number of the site, the town and city which is which the building will be built in, the deposited plan number, the city number, this is for Fiji, the land area in square meters, zoning, residential, commercial, sanitary, seaward or unseaward. Now a seaward will basically mean that you have your seaward outlet provided at the end of your lot and an unseaward means that you have to create your own septic tank in order to build. To, for an unseaward site, the plot ratio will be 20% of development area. So once you subtract all your setbacks, the area left inside, you can only use 20%. And when you're using a seaward site, the plot ratio for that one will be 100% on development. That means that you can use the 100% of the setback areas that you have done. That's all for this video. If you like this, if you like the contents of this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and also let me know if you have any queries via comments. Thank you.